Good morning, everyone. Chris, along with Luis and Jack from Team Aquascape, and we also have Joe Cisneros out here from Nature's Waterscapes out of California. Today, we are in a boutique backyard here in somewhat of a more urban space. We're in beautiful Riverside, Illinois, which is a very close suburb to the city of Chicago. Today, we are going to be doing an update on this pond. They currently have a competitor's skimmer and biofalls, which is failing the pond itself. So what we did is we came in and proposed a solution to update their filtration biologically and mechanically by putting in a signature series 1000 skimmer as well as a 2500 biofalls with some new plumbing like I said it's a boutique backyard so access is a little bit tight also it is an incredible landscape so we have to be very 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 meticulous and careful when working around the existing softscape Let me go ahead and walk through the project with you and turn the camera around and kind of show you what we need to do. It's a very beautiful aqua blue pond, gorgeous, gorgeous backyard. It's kind of a raceway all the way back. So it's very narrow and long, but the pond is, I love the location of the pond. You can see the waterfall starts all the way back behind the cypress. What we're gonna do is we're going to replace the existing waterfall setup with a 2,500 biofalls and that's gonna be located right about here. We have some dirt. We're gonna go ahead and build a little bit more of a retaining wall back here. We're gonna have to pull out some of these perennials, but all of this rock work and everything is going to be taken out and we are going to rebuild this stream as well. We're gonna pluck out a handful of these big boulders that are a little bit unnecessary and kind of out of scale to the project itself. And we're gonna use these to help retain the soil around the backside of our biofalls. We're also gonna rebuild this stream. You can see there's a lot of foam and all that stuff kind of gluing everything together. I want to eliminate that look and really just have it twist and turn a little bit more. So the stream is leaking, the biofalls or whatever Savio calls it, their waterfall box is cracked, the liner has come detached from it, so we need to completely redo this entire section back here. We're not gonna do anything really in the pond. The customer loves the way the edges, and I have to agree with them, loves the way the edges look with some of the plants kind of tucked over and growing over, it looks beautiful. But you can see the skimmer that's tucked away back there. We are going to be replacing that skimmer as well, as well as our two inch line that feeds the new 2500 biofalls from the skimmer. So the pump's gonna stay in there. We may have to reconfigure the check valve assembly, that kind of stuff to make sure everything lines up and we're gonna replace that Savio skimmer back there with one of our Aquascape skimmers. It's gonna do a much better job with the mechanical filtration as well as being much, much, much easier to maintain with the basket setup. So not really gonna touch the pond. We're just gonna focus on the stream and waterfalls and then updating the skimmer, improving that mechanical filtration. And we've got the four of us out here and we are gonna crush it and hopefully we'll get it done dancing in between the raindrops. So follow along with us and don't forget, we also have that contest going on where we're giving away $5,000 in Aquascape product. I should probably get Rob, the homeowner, to submit his DIY pond and maybe he can win a chance. But for those of you out there, click the link in the bio to find out what the details are on how you can submit your pond projects. So we're looking for all you DIYers all over the globe to submit your photos and we're going to pick a winner who's gonna qualify for $5,000 in Aquascape pond products. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get started. You can see Luis and Joe behind me are starting to already demo the, the waterfalls. Jack's over here setting up the transit to go ahead and establish water levels so that we don't lose that. So that when we go to set up the skimmer, we make sure that we set that at the proper height as well. All right, let's go. Here we are. And focus, focus. There it is. Okay, I guess one thing I want to address in this video right from the get-go is I don't want this to turn into a competition between product lines. That's not what this video is intended to do because, and the reason I say that is the water feature that we are dealing with is an ecosystem pond and in every way, shape, and form, it falls exactly in line with our ethos here at Aquascape and you know, letting mother nature do what it has to do and putting the components in to try and replicate mother nature and setting up that ecosystem. That's a beautiful backyard water feature, water garden, pond, everything that's included in that genre. So I don't want this video to come across as oh, we're coming in as Aquascape and we are trashing the current components that are out here. That is not the case at all because I believe that the other manufacturer, our competitors' products that are out here are trying to achieve the same thing that we are going for here at Aquascape. It's just that they aren't quite functioning the way that they need to and being Aquascape and the artists that we are and using Aquascape product, we clearly believe in our product. But I just wanted to say that the intent of the waterfall box and the skimmer box that's out here that's our competitors is the same as ours. We just feel that our 
cars are more functional, they're built better, they're easier to maintain, they have a much better functionality for what's intended. And I just wanna kinda of show you some of the differences. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and just show you what the skimmer box of the competitor is like versus what you are going to see with our product once it's installed. So here's the skimmer, and I gotta say they did a, a pretty good job of concealing it. So you can see they've got the soft scape all around, really hiding where that water is coming in. It's a little bit awkward of a installation. The liner comes up through here and there's a big rectangular face plate. The way the skimmer basket, you know, is similar to ours. It's just, it's kind of a thinner plastic. It's got filter media on the backside over here, which I'm not quite sure why. That doesn't really make sense to me. You would feel like the large debris filter pad should be somewhere in front of where the pump draws, but they also have a skimmer basket. But as you can see, it's kind of pinned in there. It's just an awkward, weird design. It's almost like it's over-engineered. And I think that's the biggest difference for our products versus this product is ours is very simple. And, and that's a mantra that we buy in and that we believe in and really incorporate into the design of our products. We wanna keep it as simple as possible, as user-friendly and intuitive as possible while still maximizing the functionality. So, you know, with ours, we still have the skimmer basket. Ours has a handle on it. It's point loaded, so it's not gonna tip out. It's not going to get caught out here if this thing ever were to compress. And I don't believe that it has. It's just weird that it's not pulling all the way out. I don't know, I'm doing something wrong. Of course I need two hands. With ours, you don't. The pump still is drawing from the bottom, which is good. You're still getting that inflow of water through the skimmer opening here, which is exactly like ours. We have a weird door, as well as they do, that's going to maintain that top water draw. Of course, our large debris filter pad sits over top of the pump, so as the water gets drawn down, it filters that stuff out and prevents the pump from clogging. Not quite sure why this is here. Also, we have a little bit different of connections coming out of ours. We have the two inch bulkhead fittings, whereas this is just looks like a one inch, almost like a kink free hose that's running up to the biofalls. It just looks over engineered. Ours is going to perform the same function as, as far as pulling that top water or providing that top water drop, pulling all the debris into one area. The catchment area is much improved and I'll show you that later in the video. But the idea of this pond is spot on. It's just the components. Components could definitely be improved and I think that's where we're coming from. So I'm gonna walk up here to the waterfalls and kind of show you the waterfall box that they have versus what ours is. And I'll show you that a little bit later in the video. Now with this, it's a lot different than the way ours operates. So you can see that one inch pipe or inch and a quarter pipe comes in through the top and then shoots down that little snorkel. And I believe this probably pulls out. And this is almost a diffuser, right? What this is intended to do is to push that water down and create a upflow system, but it's just not working that way. You can't push the water down and then expect it to flow back up. And there's no filter media in here or anything. So this is where I think we're set apart from our competitor is ours is a true upflow system where the water comes in at the bottom of our biofalls, upflows through filter media, allowing the sediment and the large debris to, to settle out of suspension, pumping it up through the fine filter pads, and it provides a much higher quality or higher rate of biological filtration. And it's polishing the water a heck of a lot better. So I would say out of the two components for the filtration, the biological filtration is by far and away better with our product. Even though the intent is there and it's to start off the waterfall, also the connection for this, you can see there's really no place to connect the liner to, whereas we can actually do a watertight seal connecting the liner to the biofalls. They're just relying on the gravity to keep that water inside the liner. So there's no place for them to attach the liner to this biofall. I and mean, you can see it's cracked. Ours is just a superior product. So I wanted to kind of run through there, the two products that we're replacing, explain the reasoning why to choose Aquascape over some of our competitors, even though it falls directly in line with our core mission, and that's to create an ecosystem pond and work with mother nature and not against it. Our product designs are just far superior. That's all there is to it for those reasons that I gave you. The functionality, the better long-term results for the pond, and just the maintenance, the overall maintenance friendly and ease of use is so, so, so important for our homeowners. We want people to enjoy them, not to be working on them, and we want these products to last a lifetime. So that's why we're installing Aquascape components on this pond, updating it, and at the same time, we get to rebuild their stream and waterfalls, which is one of my favorite parts. So I'm gonna stop yapping. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that process, but I don't know. I just wanted to give our two cents, but again, remind you guys out there, we're not here to trash another product that falls in line with our ethos. There's obviously more than one way to skin a cat and there's more than one game in town. We just feel that we are the best and those are some of the reasons why. Okay. Okay.